Good morning, Cam Brar here. My message today is directed at all of those folks who voted NDP in the last federal election. This is intended for you. Now, I will be very candid and forthright and tell you I have never voted NDP in my life. So I, I'm not going to profess to completely understand your thinking or your ideology. However, I have spent time reading about Tommy Douglas. I've spent time uh, looking at Ed Broadman and I've been a, you know, a, a student of politics, let's say. So I do understand some of the basic fundamentals of why one would vote NDP and what the belief was. My understanding always was that you voted NDP because you were all about the working men and men and women out there. You defended them and that was who you were the champion of. I would say today's NDP is a far cry from that. The truckers, if anything, should be the champions that you would be uh, purporting to defend. It's a David and Goliath battle. They're up against a prime minister who is using every means to try to crush them. Now, why as an NDP -er, you would not support it? I don't know. Now, I, I'm assuming if I had to guess it, it obviously has a lot to do with COVID and your feelings about the policies of COVID and how it's been handled and uh, your feelings that, um, you know, it, it's been handled for primarily in the right manner. Okay, fair enough. Now, if that's the case, what the truckers are asking for, and now, of course, they've come to the point where they said they want an end to all mandates, but how did we get here? We got here because we did not allow for any discussion. Governments across the board, uh, Mr. Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh, your leader, uh, the leaders of uh, the bloc, and uh, fortunately, the pr uh, previous leader of the Conservatives, Mr. O'Toole, all went with one to one line. Everybody sang the same song and uh, from the same playbook. So what happened was that the citizens that you are representing, because ultimately uh, the citizens are represented by the elected civil servants, felt that there was no voice for them. So the People's Party, the NDP, had become uh, deaf to the voices of the people out there, such as the truckers such as the blue collar people, such as the nurses, other people who worked for a living, who were feeling that this was wrong. And what they were asking for wasn't anything irrational. They were saying, look, show me the evidence that you've got that this all makes sense. Me taking your word for it that simply because you told me this works, that's not good enough. I would like you to be able to put that evidence forth. I would like to have experts on both sides debate it and then if it has merits, fair enough, I'll go along. But what is wrong with that? In a democracy, we should be able to have that candid and open debate. Now, as an NDPer, I would think that you would strongly believe in that. Uh, Mr. Trudeau had a chance to uh, basically diffuse this whole situation. He could have said to the truckers when they first, the rumblings of it began, yes, I'll meet with you. I'll have a discussion with you. Yes, we'll have an open panel. We'll have a debate. We will put forth why the government has gone in this direction, and we will defend it with the science that we claim we have. We will put the reports forth, and we will allow experts to publicly debate it, and we will come to a point. Mr. Jagmeet Singh could have gone along and said, yes, I support that idea because that's what we should be doing. However, none of that happened. Everybody simply said no. They ignored the voices of the people who elected them. So what are a people to do when they have no redress? They will take any manner they can. So they went to Ottawa and started blockading, doing what they felt they had to, to get someone's attention. This is not new, but leadership, true leadership, comes from diffusing these situations. Enacting Emergency Measures Act to quash resistance is not the solution. Now, if you're on the side that agrees with this today, trust me, there will come a time in history when those elected civil servants will be opposing you and you will disagree with this. It only is a matter of time before that comes around. So as an NDP, -er, reach out to your elected MP that you voted for in your riding and say, no, this has to stop. We only need 19 of you to come on board, but if all 25 of you supported it, even better. You are people who vote on ideology. You are the ones who stand up for the little guy. Well, the little guy is being crushed right now by the establishment. They need your help. So I would say, please reach out to your elected officials. Be honest in this process. No matter where you feel on the spectrum of COVID, 
it would behoove you not to be able to have a discussion, a sitting at a table and saying, yes, we acknowledge you as human beings. We acknowledge the fact that you have grievances and we're going to address them. That is how a system, a democracy operates. And this is your chance to prove it, that it works, that we haven't have a system that's failed because a lot of people have given up hope and there's none of it left. Your chance here as a voter of the NDP reaching out to your MP is being able to help restore democracy back to where it belongs. Democracy that doesn't turn into anarchy because people have lost confidence in the system. So I beseech you, please go out, reach out to your MPs, do the right thing and stop this uh, Emergency Measures Act.